ass calls? Pesky squirrels. And these squirrels are like dropping nuts all over our car. It's raining nuts. See him up there, sheepish little grin on his face, eating a nut. Well, this afternoon we're on our way out to go vote. There are some local elections going on and Hudson and I feel like it's our park today to contribute and go vote. So we're headed to a local church just a few minutes down the road to do that. And yeah, it should be a lot of fun. I haven't voted in a number of years now. That's what, that's what happens when you're over in Indonesia most of your life. You don't get to do this kind of stuff, so it'll be fun. It's been super hot lately. Um, it's summer still here and it's just hot and humid. But this afternoon, we got a little bit of cloud coverage. It's super nice and there's actually a breeze here in the bayou. So taking advantage to get out and do a little bit of paddling. It feels really nice right now. Um, Morgan Hudson just left to go voting. So I am 18 and I am eligible to vote. I'll be voting come this November. But um, I guess I signed up a little bit too late for um, the voting today and I wasn't able to go. So just Morgan Hudson are going, but um, that's okay. Yeah, so we're living on a bayou. It's pretty nice. You know, up kind of the Alabama area, they have, you know, they call people rednecks, kind of the backwoods living out there. And um, around here, we have a name for those same kind of people. They're called Boggy Boys. <laughs> so, yep, now we're Boggy Boys. It's kind of crazy. Um, yeah, it's just, it's really nice living on a bayou though. It's actually a very interesting ecosystem. So basically, we have the salt water coming in from the ocean, right? The Gulf of Mexico actually. And then we have these little streams with fresh water coming in, all kind of mixes together. And so it's called brackish water. It's kind of a salt water, fresh water mix. And so there's some pretty interesting creatures that live around here. Us boys been fishing in these waters for a super long time. Uh, whenever we came back to the States, this is the area we'd live on. We'd rent out a little townhouse from our grandparents. And yeah, so we fished all of these waters. Got all sorts of interesting little creatures in here. So yeah, it's, it's fun, you know, coming back, I'm all older. But um, there's so many memories around here. It's, it's pretty awesome. The wind's kind of picking up. Starting to get a few little swells coming in, little mini swells. So over there, that's a destination, a little tiny beach. Right now it's high tide, so there's not much of a beach left. All right, we made it. You always wanna make sure you pull your craft all the way up because you don't know if the tide's gonna rise a little bit higher and carry it off the sea. There we go, that should do for now. Well guys, welcome to Hermit Crab Beach. Um, yeah, like I said, the tide's pretty high, so there's not much of it, but this used to be one of our favorite beaches when we were little. We'd come up here, and we just found tons and tons of hermit crabs, so we dubbed it Hermit Crab Beach. All right, made it. We're surrounded by a bunch of diehard Republicans. A good crowd. So we're here at the Holy Name of Jesus Catholic Church, and this is where locals in Niceville actually cast their ballots. And they've been doing this here for years. And the last time I was here was for it was for the presidential election, actually. So it's been a number of years since I've been here, but it's great to be back. And yeah, today basically it's a it's a we're voting for a lot of locals. Um, there's a congressman, I think a school superintendent. Um, state representatives. State representatives and just, uh, yeah, some, some local um, com committee leaders as well. And so we're super stoked to do this because again, we've been in Indonesia for so long that we haven't had a chance to actually be back in the States and vote like this. And so we 
count as a privilege. I'm super excited to be here. This is my first time being eligible to participate in any kind of election. And um, super cool responsibility and really our duty to be involved in who we want as our leaders to represent us and um, make decisions for our county here and uh, state as a whole. So really excited. Uh, there's a lot of good candidates this year. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy. There's a lot of other countries where this is kind of a foreign concept to be directly involved with who they, they elect as leaders. So super neat privilege. Uh, I'm excited to get in there and cast my ballot. But yeah, as Morgan said, we gotta get our masks on and um, we'll be ready to roll. Yeah, man, perfect summer day to be out. I mean, it's not hot at all. I'm not even, barely even sweating, which for this time of year, that's saying something. It's my nemesis over there, as you can see very clearly. Yeah, sadly, quite a bit of pollution here. Classic, classic water bottle. Man never get away from this guy. He's like, it's always, no matter where we are, in Indonesia, in some remote little island, you always see these guys popping up. I really just need to give him a name, since he's such a nemesis. Let's see, what's a good name for him? I shall call him Jones. I need to take him back to me with us and put him in the recycling bin. All right, all voted. Got my little sticker. I'm gonna add this to as to the collection. It's starting to fill up. <laughs> oh man, just voted. That was awesome. Gave me a little sticker, a little flag. Super excited. It's a really nice little forest walk back here. I love coming down here. It's nice and quiet, peaceful. And um, yeah, it's just a nice spot to kind of be alone with your thoughts. One thing I've noticed since being back here in the States is that um, there's a lot of things that are um, competing for your thoughts. You know, it's just the business of life and entertainment and a whole bunch of stuff like that. But um, it's nice sometimes to just be alone with your thoughts and just kind of think about things. And so yeah, with Morgan Hudson voting, it's kind of got me thinking about all the cool freedoms we have here in the States. And that um, with those freedoms comes a great responsibility. You know, it's not like we have the freedom to do anything we want. You can't go steal something, you know, it's not freedom to do that. but it's freedom to do the right thing without being punished for it. Like the freedom to worship God without being um, persecuted. And so that's really cool. But uh, I was thinking more about it. And it turns out that a lot of people in, in the States, even though they have these freedoms, are not free at all, but are actually um, enslaved. So I was reading the New Testament, and Jesus said that basically, anyone who sins is actually a slave to sin. And so, those are really profound words because as a slave to sin, it becomes your master and you can't stop doing it and it basically controls you. And that's, that's a really scary place to be in because we know that sin leads to death and so if sin's your master then ultimately that's going to lead to death. And so, this made me so thankful that because of what Jesus did for us on the cross, we are no longer slaves to sin. I mean, for me, I used to be a slave to sin. It was my master, I couldn't escape it. And I was down a road that was leading to death. But because of Jesus' sacrifice on the cross, he paid my debt so that I wouldn't have to be a slave to sin. He paid a ransom for me so that I could become free. That's an amazing thing. And really, that's true freedom. Because no matter where you are in the world, whether you're in a free place like we are right here in America, or in a tyrannical, underneath a tyrannical government, Really, through Jesus Christ, you are ultimately free. And when you're free from sin, nothing can put you in bondage again. That's true, ultimate freedom. With all that freedom comes responsibility. Just like um, here in the States, you know, with the freedom we have comes responsibility. This, our freedom through Jesus Christ is so much greater. And the responsibility that comes with that is so much greater. But that's not a bad thing. It's a really, really awesome thing. God has given us responsibility to do what He has said. And it is good work. Jesus Christ has told us to go to the nations and proclaim the good news that people don't have to be enslaved anymore. And he's given his people the responsibility to go do that. 
It's so cool to be a part of God's plans and to have the responsibility and work for our Savior and do what He wants. It's, it's amazing. And so with the freedom we have through Christ becomes a responsibility, but it's a really good responsibility. And we know that Jesus Christ and God's gonna help us all the way through it. So that's pretty exciting. It's pretty awesome. Thanks for watching The Wild Way, and double thanks if you've already liked or subscribed to our YouTube channel. If you want to get more involved with us, visit our Patreon website. Hit the link below to learn how you can become a member of our Patreon team and partner with us. Also, you'll get awesome benefits, like exclusive vlog videos, like Wild Brothers merchandise, and a lot more.